Right, let's go combining. So it's the 3rd of August 2020, um, we are in the 2016 uh, John Deere T670i uh, 6 straw walking machine and we're just about to start harvest. We are going to go straight into the wheat, I've never gone straight into wheat before. Normally we've got uh, winter barley and um, in previous years we've had oilseed rape but we haven't got winter barley this year because the autumn was too wet. We didn't get round to planting any because the ground was too wet. And uh, we haven't got any oilseed rape because uh, we've held off growing it for until there's a solution to the, the flea beetle. So uh, my dad's in front. He's in the John Deere 3350. And on the back, he's towing the, the 30 foot um, what is it, a 630X header I think it is. Oh, my horn's not working. No, do. I think I must have disconnected the horn. Okay. Okay. All right. So the first thing we'll do is put the bin lids up. Press that button there. That will put the lids up in the bin. I should have cleaned the window because that's dirty. I'll do that in the morning. We also need to jack the hillmaster up. So we tip it up one one way, and then the other way. So this to keep the the combine level when you're on slopes and that, and then we go back to the middle. And then we're going to pick up the header. It's been a while, but we'll see. I don't really feel nervous. I feel a bit tense. Like it's always, always a bit tense when you're starting. Swing her to the right attach. There we go. That's a good thing about the Hillmaster, you can cheat. There we go. Oh, she's alright. She's not falling off. I <laughs> think Dad thought the header just fell off. George is, um, George is just behind me. He's in the, he's driving my tractor this summer. He's going to be in the 6215R. Alright, so I'm just going to set the combine up quick. We're going to put the sieves um, 16. And 8. And the concave, which is threshing clearance. We'll put that, set that to 15 to begin with. Um, there we go. All 
Right, let's go for it. Reel's going to wake up. It's been asleep all winter. So we're going to put the back into gear. And then we're going to put the header into gear. Now it's going to want to do a, a header calibration. We'll rev him up. Uh, drum speed, we'll speed that up to a thousand or 950, whatever it will do. having a bit of a bounce. Need to slow the reel down. Slow that up. Come on, slow down. Lift the header up a little bit because the snuggle's pretty short. Grain going in the tank and the straw coming out the back. Oh, we want to put the wind up a bit, the fan speed. Put that up to about 11.50. That keeps the sieves clean and the sample clean. A lot to think about. I'm surprised I haven't got a headache right now. Uh, we go to 11.50 on the fan. I'm going to stop, stop and get out in a second and just look in the straw. When we get this set up, we're going to get out and have a quick look in the straw and make sure there's not, we're not losing any grain. We're saying that it's yielding 11.5 tonnes to the hectare, but we need to calibrate it, so we'll do that in a bit. That's not accurate at the moment. It would be good if it was, but it's not. And it's saying 12. 3% moisture uh, so it has to be below 15 to go in the store so that's good all right you see the grain going in the tank look it's filling up pretty quick which is a good sign I'm just gonna get out and have a quick look in the straw and make sure we're not chucking out in the straw I don't think we are but I just want to check to be on the safe side So I was going along at about 4k. It's so easy to set up this combine. You literally just set it and and I can't see a single grain on the floor to be honest. Oh there's one. One grain look. Two. So that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna unload the first tank full. We're right on the edge of the field, so I've had to stop. Um yeah, it certainly filled up quicker than what I thought it was going to fill up. It's saying, well, on the screen, it's saying average 11 ton, and I know that's not accurate because we haven't calibrated it yet. But it'd be quite good if it's doing 10 ton. We were sort of thinking eight, nine ton, so 10 ton would be good. We'd be happy with that.
Right, so I've done the headland. Literally just going into the into the land work. Gonna open up a land. So the variety of this wheat is uh, Graham. It's the first wheat, winter wheat. And we planted this back in October. It wasn't drilled in the best of conditions, it was the ground was pretty wet. As most of you will know, it was a really wet autumn. Uh, it was drilled with the it was the first job I'd done with the new tractor and the Vadastad drill. Um, I I'd just come back back from holiday, put the drill on, and uh, we I think we had a dry few days, so we managed to get this wheat in the ground. Uh, but it I, it didn't get rolled, it didn't even get rolled. It the ground was so wet and it was raining again it basically had a whole winter of, of rain on it and then the spring came we had really dry spring so it it started giving up pretty early to be honest in May uh, it wasn't looking great it just shot up it didn't really tiller properly the rain in June just got a little bit of moisture into the ground to um, you know to bulk up to wash in the fertilizer and bulk up the the grain a little bit. So now obviously we're in August and we're harvesting the crop. Uh, looking at the crop before harvesting we were not very optimistic. We are thinking it was going to do about eight, nine tons of the hectare. From what we've had come off the headland, we're guessing about ten tons of the hectare. But um, in a bit we'll I'll do run a calibration and George will go off and load and weigh to a neighbouring farm and weigh the load and then we'll be able to calibrate the yield monitor and see exactly what the crop is yielding. Right, so what I'm going to do here is a yield calibration. So it's all automatic. Basically, make sure the grain tank is empty, which I've just done. Start the yield calibration run. Press the next step button to start the calibration. Next. Um, and then press when the calibration run is completed. Right. So basically I've just got to fill the, fill the grain trailer now with two tanks and then uh, George is going to go off to uh, the weigh bridge, weigh the load. We've already weighed it empty. It was 14.18 tonnes empty and uh, yeah and we're going to weigh it loaded and then I'll put in the figure, well I'll show you in a minute. Right, so George weighed in at uh, 25,340 kilos. Um, so I'll take away what it was empty, which is 14,180 equals. So there was 11,160 kilos in the trailer. Hopefully that right yeah so it's adjusted the calibration figure it was the calibration was 650 now we're up to 733 that's it it's done so now it's saying we're yielding 10 ton to the hectare look I'm just getting out for a wee so I do a quick visual check it nothing's hanging off Nothing spanging or anything. It's going to shut off now. I did leave it in gear, but because I got off the seat, because I got off the seat, it's sort of that you switch the separator out of gear. But so far, it seems to be going pretty well.
shots are up in the air. Speed up, we're loading from the front first. Um, yeah, so Monday evening, I forgot to say, we didn't even get started till, it wasn't even until after lunch that we were starting because we had a couple of showers of rain yet, uh, Sunday afternoon, so we, yeah, we basically thought we'd start after lunch. Let the moisture come down. The moisture was actually fine. It was, uh, you know, 14% and then it's dropped down to like 13% now. So George basically just drives along at 5k and I'll start at the front and, uh, and load him, load his trailer for him. It's not very easy to see in that trailer, so it just makes it easier if I load it. We've got the sun in our eyes, the sun's just about to set. Yeah, it's all right. It's actually touch wood. It's gone really well this afternoon. No problems whatsoever, I don't think. Um, yeah, you normally get the odd little teething problem, but no, no problems at all. Um, so yeah, we will. Yeah, so this is actually the second field that I've been on this afternoon, and this is. The first one was 12 hectares and this one will be about the same, so yeah, um, not bad for an afternoon's work, 24 hectares. Right, so if you've got any questions about what I'm doing or the harvest, uh, stick them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the morning.